Hey, hey, hookers. Merry Christmas and welcome back to Inspired by a Smile. My name is Christy and today I'm going to show you how to make a Santa costume for the uh, ghost penis that I made uh, for Halloween. So if you have a hook and some yarn, let's get started. So I'll start by making the base of the hat. So I've got my red here and my four millimeter. So just do a chain of four and join it at the end. So then do a chain and then you're going to do five half double crochet into the circle. Make sure to crochet over the little piece of yarn and again five half double crochet into the circle. I always crochet over the little piece of yarn so I can pull over or pull it tight I mean when I'm done. Awesome. All right, so just gonna close up the hole. And you wanna put the uh, little piece of yarn to the other side because we're gonna be turning the hat inside out when we're done. So now I'm at the beginning of the row, do a half double crochet into that beginning stitch. And then we're going to put a stitch marker. And then in the next stitch you want to do, um, oh, there, I don't have quite, don't quite have that in there yet, just a second. So in the next stitch you want to do two in the same stitch. So one, two, and then one half double crochet all the way around for this row. While you're doing that I would like to thank everyone for subscribing so far. I do appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed already make sure that you do and turn on notifications um, so you don't miss any new videos. Make sure you also, if you do like the video, go hit the like button and keep the video in the algorithm. That's also very helpful as well. And if you haven't already and would like to, check out my patron. I do have two patrons on there and I do appreciate that as well. Um, it's $3 a month and it's just set up to tip me as an artist and help me do what I do. And I will send you out a free gift for signing up. If you want to check that out, all my social links are on my YouTube channel. They're all linked underneath my name at the top. So you can go follow me on other places as well. Not just Patron. They're all there. So at the beginning of the row, you're going to do two... I'm sorry, one half double crochet in the same stitch after this uh, last one here. So one in the one half double crochet each stitch all the way around. And it's pretty short, so I am just gonna go all the way around the, the beginning of this row since it's uh still pretty uh, small. <clears throat> and I'm pretty excited to get out a new costume as well for this guy. Alright, so this row, you want to do two, I'm oh, sorry, at the beginning of the row, 
you're gonna do a half double crochet but then you're gonna do two in the same stitch again So you want to go one, two, and then one. I can't wait to get this posted. I will have more on the way, including another uh, penis themed one for Christmas. So keep your eyes open again if you're not subscribed make sure that you are because and have your notifications on so that you can see the new videos coming up or if you think that you'll see them come up on the other socials go follow me there so that you don't miss any of them that are coming up All right, so after this row, it's gonna be one half double crochet in each stitch, um, and it's gonna be repeated for two rows. So that part I'm not gonna show. So that is that row. Um, again, this next row is gonna be one half double crochet in each stitch. And you want to do that for two rows in a row. So I'm just going to show you the beginning of that row right now. And then I'm going to stop the camera and I'll be right back. So two rows just like that. Okay. So at the beginning of this row, it's going to be two half double crochet in the same stitch. And then you want to do after that one you're going to do one half double crochet in the next stitch and then in the one after. So instead of one, two, and then one, it's going to be two, one, one, two, all the way around. All half double crochet. So while I do that row, um, I'm going to keep the camera on for this one. It's just also not very long. Um, if you guys do have any other suggestions for videos, Christmas or not, please make sure that you comment on my video or anywhere really. You can message me on my other socials as well. I don't mind taking tutorial requests. And again, if you'd like to go like this video at any point in the video, you don't even have to stop it. Just go hit the like button. It really helps keep my videos in the algorithm and uh, make sure that my channel is seen. Just watching it also helps, but liking it gives it that extra boost. We want everybody to see these guys, of course, you know. Who doesn't want to make penises and costumes for them? So I'm just quickly finishing up that row. So that's why I'm just off camera a little as well. I'm just trying to finish it up. All right, so we're at the end. Now we're gonna do um, <clears throat> one half double crochet in each stitch. And you're gonna do that for two rows again in total. So one in each stitch all the way around and two rows in total, just like this. Awesome. All right, so now for this row, you're going to do the same as the uh, 
where it's another increase row and you're going to do it the same as the other one. It's two uh, half double crochet in the same stitch and then one half double crochet in the next stitch and then one in the one after that and then two in the same stitch again. So two, one, one, two all the way around for this one. And again, I'm just going to quickly go around and do that. If you guys haven't seen yet, I do have a Santa boob pillow on my channel. If you'd like to make that as well for yourself or as a gift, it worked up really fast. And it's fun to make. It's also in the same, it'll be in the same playlist as this one. close. I got stampeded by my daughter. My son's gonna be fired as babysitter. Awesome. So again guys after this row when I'm I'm just uh, making sure this one's not quite done. I got a couple more here to go, actually. Just double checking what row is next there. go so just those last couple stitches so now we're gonna start the next two rows so one half double crochet in each stitch around and that's gonna be for the next two rows again all right so this will be the last increase row and it's the same as last one guys so two half double crochet in the same stitch and then one half double crochet in the next stitch and then one half double crochet in the one after that so I will shut off the camera in a second um, because it is a bit longer for this row too so two one one two all the way around awesome for this one guys um, It'll be, that was the last increase row. So now you're gonna do one half double crochet in each stitch um, all the way around, but this time do five rows in total, okay? So one half double crochet in each stitch and you want five rows in total before we switch to white. And I'll show you how I switch colors in a second. fixing my yarn there. So again, five rows, one half double crochet in each stitch. All right, so now, I'm just gonna skip a stitch over, and then do a slip stitch. And then I'm just going to cut enough because I'm going to tie the white on. So 
So I do have the nice floofy yarn. If you don't, just using simple white for the edge will look nice too. So I'm holding my yarn too. Um, after doing a chain, I'm going into that first stitch, doing a half double crochet, and I'm crocheting over the two little pieces of yarn to hide them. So again, one half double crochet in each stitch all the way around for this row too. And it's the only row of white. And I'm crocheting over the little pieces of yarn as you can see. Kind of see. <laughs> So just keep going like that. All right, so I'm gonna just show you how to finish that off. So I'm gonna go into the first stitch and then just do a slip stitch, cut a long enough chain just to sew the tail into the white trim after. And I just sew it and hide it on the inside. But I do wait until I'm done the hat because it's better to know where the it's a guide to know where the back of the hat is as well especially after you take the stitch marker out so I'm going to take the stitch marker out now and I'm going to turn the hat inside out you can decide whether or not you want to tuck that little piece of yarn in at the tip I most likely will. So there we go, the hat is finished, awesome. So now I'm gonna show you how I just I whipped up a quick pom-pom with this uh, yarn. Because it's a uh, because it is fluffy yarn, um, I didn't have to stuff the pom-pom either, so that part was awesome. So chain four, you can still make a basic pom-pom with normal yarn too, and just stuff it after and sew it if you want to. So I'm just going to join the end with a slip stitch. And then do a chain. And then you're going to do um, eight half double crochet into the circle and crochet over the little piece of yarn. If you're using the same kind of yarn or similar, just take your time and be careful. It can be harder to use, even still for me, and I've used this and other kinds of weird yarn. So again, eight half double crochet into the circle. All right, so now I'm gonna go in the beginning stitch and do two half double crochet in the same stitch. And then I'm gonna put a stitch marker after this.
Just feel for the stitch. And then I'm going to do two half double crochet in the same stitch all the way around. If you're using regular yarn, just you might have to add a row or two, but if you're using the same stuff, just this will be the last row. But if you were to use regular yarn, I would add um, like one or two rows of just half double crochet in each stitch before sewing it up. And then you could always just stuff it after. But if you use this stuff, it's pretty cool how it just it just sewed together for me into a nice little ball. All right, so I'm just going to go into the, I'm skipping a stitch and did a slip stitch. Leave a long enough tail because you got to sew the pom-pom uh, together so that it closes, you're going to close it up and then sew it to the hat. So I'm just tying it right now. Awesome. Should fix my camera here. So just take out the stitch marker. So as you can see, you can stick your finger inside like that and it already makes a bit of a ball, which is cool. So I, I thread my needle and I'm just going to go through the top of the stitches here and I'm going to sew up the top. See it naturally made a ball. So awesome. So I'm just gonna sew that on right away. You just go into the top of the hat and easily enough you can just go in and out through the little pom-pom since it's a little ball. And of course it's gonna give me difficulty on camera. <laughs> So I'm just going to go in and out through right through the pom-pom and then into the top of the hat and you won't see any of the stitches. Pull nice and tight and put a few in, make sure that the pom-pom isn't going to fall off. So 
now you can just go through like this and I'm gonna fasten it off awesome and there we go I'm ready to do the beard Okay, so I'm going to show you how to do one of the sideburns for the beard. I did one already. So just make sure you leave a long enough tail here at the beginning and chain two. And then hold the chain. Do one more chain and then go in the second from the hook. I always go in the little back bumps of it. It's kind of harder with the smaller chain. It doesn't, uh, and it's not really a huge deal with the small one either because we're sewing the end to the beard or to the hat. You're not going to see anyways. Plus it's only a chain too, so it's not going to affect it much that it's in the back bump. There we go. So after that, do a chain and then turn. And then just do uh, four more rows in total. You'll have five all together. Again, guys, if you haven't already, like the video. Hit the subscribe button, go check out my other social media links, they're all underneath my name at the top of my of my YouTube channel. And again, if you do sign up to Patron, I will send you a free baby octopus in the mail. I can see as soon as you guys sign up, so... I can message you as long as I'm awake, I message you right away to find out your mailing address. And I still have a few left to mail out. Awesome. So there's five rows all together. Here's the second one. So just cut a long enough tail because that end is going to be sewn to, one end is going to be sewn to the hat, the other will be sewn to the beard. Now we're going to get ready to do the beard. Awesome job so far guys. Alright, so got the white here do a chain of 12 And um, you're going to do a chain at the end after you grab it and then go in the second back loop from the hook 
This time I'm making sure to go in the back bumps of the hook only. I mean, sorry, back of the hook. I mean, back loops of the chain. So one half double crochet in each stitch all the way across. So I'm almost at the end of that row. So just do a chain or a slip stitch chain. <laughs> and then we're going to do a decrease at the beginning of the row. So skip a stitch. and then do a half double crochet in the next one and then do a half double crochet in each stitch across and then at the last stitch you're going to decrease again but I'll mention it when we get there so one half double crochet all the way across in each stitch after decreasing in the first stitch Alright, so just do a slip stitch in the last one, do a chain, and then turn, and then you're going to do a slip stitch in the first and second stitch here. And then after you do those two slip stitches at the beginning, you're going to do a half double crochet. And you want to do a half double crochet in each stitch all the way across until the last two stitches where you're going to do slip stitches again. So there's the first slip stitch. And the last one. And then do a chain. I'm just fixing my yarn first. Awesome. So do a chain and then you want to do a half double crochet 
in each stitch. Alright, so after doing a chain and turning, you're going to decrease the first stitch and then do a half double crochet in each stitch. and then decrease again at the end. So you're going to do a slip stitch in the last stitch after I fix this here. There we go. So this row is all half double crochet across for the next uh, three rows. Actually sorry, that was a decrease row, my bad. So decrease at the beginning of that row and at the end of that row. If you have to tear it out, make sure that you do so. So decrease at the beginning and at the end of that row, but half double crochet in between. The one row before that is all just half double crochet. And then after that, we're going to do a half double crochet in each stitch and it'll be for three rows in total. I'm just fixing my yarn here. So after that decrease row, I'm just going to do a half double crochet in each stitch and like I said for three rows in total. So I'm just going to show you here how to start it. So again guys, one in each stitch, three rows. Alright, so now after that guys, um, 
after doing a chain and turning, you want to do a decrease at the beginning and at the end of this row. And then, uh, we're going to do three rows in total, which because it's uh, shorter, I'm just going to leave it. It's funny too, I made one small mistake in this beard, but it actually turned out nice as well, so it's okay. I honestly didn't notice until I started doing the voiceover, it was far back too. So here's the second row, decreased again. At the beginning and at the end. Take, do a chain and turn and then this is the last row. Awesome. So that part is done. I'm actually just going to pull and I want to tie this because we're going to sew the little sideburns on before doing the trim. Okay. Here's the sideburn. I've got one on there already. So you're just going to line it up with the side. And I'm going to sew in the back. So I'm just going to get that yarn out of the way. So you just hold your pieces together and sew in the bottom of the sideburn and into the top of the beard. Then you can lay it flat like that if you'd like and then just hold it like this and then sew into the back of it. If you sew in the back of the stitches only it's always better too. It'll blend it in really nice. So I'm just going to put a few more stitches here making sure it's good and then we're going to put a nice trim around the entire thing. So I'm just going to hide the yarn into it here, into the back of the stitches, just sew and weave it in. Awesome. So now you can untie the bottom after, see so leave these two, make sure those are still there, that you're going to sew to the hat after. Now I'm going to do a trim around. So you can untie that. 
do a chain. And then just do a simple single crochet stitch uh, trim all the way around, including the um, sideburn parts. You're close enough together with the with two so that there's not a gap. So just keep going all the way along the edges. All right, so now I'm almost done here. I stopped on the one side. So this is the bottom of the beard. So you're just gonna do a single crochet, do a chain, and then go in the next stitch and do a single crochet. And then you go over and do one single one more single crochet before you finish off do a slip stitch and just uh you don't have to leave any type of a tail just leave it long enough so you can weave it in Awesome. All right, guys, so we're almost done. I'm really excited, and I really appreciate everybody for watching so far. Here's the mustache. I made one piece already. So this is the second one. They're made the exact same. Uh, so do a chain eight. grab the chain, do another one, and then go in the second back loop from the hook and do a half double cro or sorry, do a triple crochet. I use half double crochet too much. Now you're going to do a double crochet in the next one. Half double crochet in the next one. Single crochet in the next stitch and then the one after that. And then the last three are gonna just be slip stitches. So triple, double, half, single, single, slip, slip, slip. Awesome. So you can make them both the exact same because you can literally turn the other piece without even flipping it over so that they match up nicely. So just leave a long enough tail so you can sew that to the beard. And there we go. There's the mustache. Awesome. So now um, you do have to sew the mustache together first in the middle. So grab a piece of white yarn. So there we go, we got the front here, but I'm going to just 
I'm going to sew in the back of it so just you can fold your mustache in half like this and then you can just go in the back of it so just, you want to do a few stitches pull the yarn through enough you can leave a little tail so you can weave in the end after So I'm just going to go through, I want to go over again one more time. Awesome, now I'm just going to tuck the yarn in to the back of the mustache. Awesome, so make sure you leave the two long ends so you can sew those onto the beard. The little tiny ends can be tucked into the back of the mustache after. So for this part, we're going to sew the beard to the hat and you want to have your penis handy for this so I you can uh, you want to make sure that you put the beard on properly so put the hat on your penis first if you need to pause go grab them you want the beard to fit properly around his eyes and mouth and everything So you just can leave the hat like that. Pick a side you're going to sew on first. So I am going to make sure that it goes right beside, you want it to go beside his eyes and under his mouth. So you're just going to tuck it in just a touch. And then just hold it there nicely with your nice and tight with your hand. And you can sew it uh, right up. I sewed it in right above the white fluffiness into the red, into the back of the red. 
and then just put a few stitches into the top of the sideburn and I went in the inside of the hat so you don't see anything on the outside So just make sure you put a few in there to make sure that it's nice and secure to the hat. Again, guys, if you'd like to support me um, in what I do, um, please go check out my Patreon. Um, it is only $3 a month. Um, if you would like to make a one-time donation, that is a possibility too and could be done through e-transfer or PayPal. So there's three options. There's Patreon for $3 a month and then there is a one-time donation if you'd like to do that of... Uh, e-transfer or PayPal and just message me um, to ask for those so I'm just tucking the yarn in here after sewing in a few times I just tucked it into the beard as you can see but yeah again if you would like to donate at a, in any of those forms please let me know you can message me on any of my social medias to ask me on how to do that if you don't want to donate on Patreon because I don't think I have a one-time option on Patreon so I offer the other two and it's really appreciated all right so I'm just lining it's really helpful to have the penis there to line up everything so I'm just making sure that I have this lined up on the other side and I'm going to sew that on the exact same way. Again, just uh, tuck it in a little bit and then you fold it over, hold on to it nice and tight so you don't lose the spot where you have to sew it on and go into the back of the stitches into the hat, right into the red. Make sure there's enough stitches in there. And for good luck, if you haven't already, make sure that you go hit the like button. It'll help. I can't wait to get my next Christmas tutorial on here. Like I said, I got the Santa boob pillow on there already. Next one will be another, most likely be another fun and exciting naughty one too. There's definitely more. <laughs> so I'm just going to fasten off again, just like this on the inside of the beard. Then we can then I'll show you how to get that mustache onto him. Awesome. Okay, almost done. So we're gonna get this mustache on and then also sew I show you how to sew the uh I sewed the back of the hat down so that it's not sticking up like an elf hat. I couldn't get it to sit without sewing it down, so. 
All right, so now that we have this part done, it's easier to get the mustache. And you do want to have it laying on his face again because you can see where his mouth and his eyes are and line it up accordingly because Santa's mouth is always showing his beaming smile through his mustache and beard. This looks so adorable. <laughs> If you can think of any other Christmas costumes, I may whip them up before the season's over. If not, I'll be whipping up new ones for him all year, it seems. <laughs> so just hold it in place like this. See, I have it so that there's a gap in between where his mouth is. So I'm just going to go in and out through the bottom with the needle just like that close enough together and you want to do that until you get to this um, to the other side of the sideburn I'm just gonna s uh, flip it so you can actually see what's going on a bit better too which I know I'm out of view at the moment, so I ended up fixing it for you guys. I didn't realize until after, of course. I'm just gonna taking out the last couple stitches so that you guys can actually see what I'm doing. I usually I notice these things before I start, but we're gonna fix it up here so that you guys can see. Okay. So just keeping this in place and I'm just going to go back in. Now you want to do the same thing, but on the top. Awesome. I'll worry about tucking those in later. It's all done the same as I've done. I just sew into the back and weave in, weave it all in. So now I'm going to adjust this, make sure it's in place, and then you want to make sure that his mustache is lined up on the other side. Awesome. So just make sure it's lined up as best as you can. It doesn't have to be perfect either, but make sure it doesn't look wonky either. <laughs> Once you get that first stitch into it, it also makes it easier to keep things lined up. 
And if you definitely want to use pins or something, you could. I just never do. So I'm going to start on the edge over here again. So just go on the bottom with the needle like that. And then just again through the top. Awesome. There we go. So I'm going to shove this on here again. Just make sure that he's good to go. And after the thing is sewn on the back, I find the hat fits a lot better too. So now I am just going to grab, I have a piece of red yarn cut here. So it's right here. And this will be the last thing we have to do. So thread that up. So this little bugger here that doesn't want to stay down, we're going to sew it, sew it down. See, it's like not wanting to cooperate here, right? So you're going to take the hat and you bend it right there. And we're going to sew it down there. You might want to get it in position before taking it off your penis just like I am right now because then you can hold it down. There we go. So I have mine in place already. I'm going to sew from the inside and then sew on the inside of that flap part on the back, which you should be able to see. So I'm going into the inside of the hat and then into the back part of this tail thing so you won't see anything on the outside either so as long as you do that go with it in to the inside of it with your needle and pull it through I'm gonna go through twice at least so you can go through the hat again this time when you go through the second time you can grab the little tail that you'll need to weave in after. So I'm going to go right through the same hole, back through that piece again. You can grab that little tail, like I said, so we can tighten it up and pull and then go right back through. And that'll keep the hat from not standing up the way it was. So now I can just, uh, you can go on the inside of the hat and weave in your ends. And I'll be doing the same thing with the ends of the mustache. Awesome. Again, thank you all for watching. I do appreciate it. Make sure that you do subscribe and turn on notifications if you haven't already because you won't want to miss my upcoming videos. And if you're not following me on all other social media platforms, you can go follow me there too so you don't make really make sure you don't miss anything. And if you would like to consider Patron or one-time donation, you can also do that as well. I'd really appreciate it.
even just watching my videos and liking them, it all counts and I really appreciate that too. So I'm just going to shove this on here so I can show it to you guys. See, it's a lot better with it sewn down. And then again, I'm going to sew in my ends after. I'm just adjusting it here. It's looking cute. I'm just going to zoom out so you guys can see them a little bit better. Awesome. Good job, guys. Yay. He's so adorable. <laughs> Woohoo.